Hello everyone, it's Dave, M0 How's GY. Just having a look uh, at some uh, brackets that I've self-fabricated to go on the Strumac P60 tower for coax guides, I hope you see them. Some further up, and there's one right at the top. We've got the tower up uh, well right up today. There's the third one, and then there's a, a fourth one that's uh, up there, as you can see, it's curved. What we're planning to do, obviously, is to re coax the tower, put the coax through the hoops, uh, which will guide it from catching in the sections. As I say, the tower's up for today. We'll have a better look at that in a few moments from a bit further distance. You see, uh, there's the beams. The Serio Game Master right at the top. We'll have a, I'll come back to it in a moment. Right, we're back uh, from a, another position. Just showing you the uh, Strumac tower that wound up. As we know, there's the Opti beam, five element uh, monoband cush graph for six meters, the two meter J beam, and right at the top, as you can see, is the Serio Game Master. So I hope you can uh, get an idea of the that's your scale of the thing. Um, we've got the P60 tower. There's a stub mast, which is around 15 feet. And there's a uh, gain master. So I'll uh, get a picture of it uh, with the house rooftops in a moment. A little bit closer now. See the Shakespeare big stick in the background. There's a game master on the top. Right, just showing you it with it up anyway. That's the first time the tower's been wound up with a game master on top of it. So uh, it should work very well with it up at uh, that height, I would hazard a guess. Catch you soon. Best seven threes from Dave M0 OGY. Bye bye. Right, hello, it's Dave M0 OGY. Just a follow on for the video of the antennas. As you can see, here in North Lincolnshire, uh, the 12th of September, we've got 70, I don't know, to 80 mile an hour winds. So, just showing you the tree, we'll have a look at the antennas in a moment. Hello again. As you can see, the wind's uh, whapping the uh, beams on the tower. We've had a little bit of a, a change to the tower since the video uh, at the beginning of this one. Uh, we took the uh, Serio Game Master off the uh, top of the tower and also the J-beam Parabeam, which was for two metres. Um, I bought an, a, a new antenna, second hand, off a, a guy up north. I went and fetched it about, oh, I don't know, a month or two back. It's a Joe Gun conventional five element monobander. You see it there. It's got a two inch uh, square box action boom. The elements aren't on yet. It's got a, a large bridge across the top, which is like a rope, a wire rope. And there's the five elements to go on and the gamma match. Uh, it's got like steel link pieces, I don't know if you can just see them there with bolts in. The uh, bracket in the middle, that's steel. I've had it uh, grip blasted and powder coated red, like the uh, link pieces. As we said, the boom's about, I don't know, 17, 18 foot long. And then it's got full size elements. It's designed for the CB and uh, 11, 11 meter market. We'll have to see if it'll work on 10 meters. It might do, it might not. But uh, I'm sure it'll uh, put a massive signal out on the, on the CB pattern, that's for sure. So that's a, a project I'm doing at the moment. Did a bit while I've had some uh, time off work. So I've got it uh, tipped to our end of the weekend. So we've just got the elements to. Uh, on it and uh, you know some West Flex uh, uh, cable to feed it. So 
so I've uh, got quite a number of uh, new videos to do with radio and CB radio quite a few uh, coming up so keep uh, your eyes peeled on the channel anyway it's uh, still rather windy out here it's around 8 o'clock so on that note thanks for having a look I'm off inside for a brew so best 7.3's uh, from Dave M0 OGY. Bye bye.